exploring this amazing old factory, an old finishing plant here in North Carolina. And met up with Kitchy Travels. Some of you might recognize her, you might know her. She's showing me this really cool finishing plant here that closed in 1984. Some great natural decay here. I believe this massive building was built in like 1946 or 1947. And uh, when the industry changed and companies started shipping all of their clothing and having all their clothing made in China and overseas, this industry was hit really hard and a lot of these big companies were shut down. So in 84, this was, this was, this was finished. I don't think that the building has been abandoned since 84, maybe sections of it, maybe this stuff, but this is such a big building that I think it was rented out to other businesses throughout the years, certainly into the nineties. But uh, it's amazing to see what, what is left. It's always interesting to see what these companies leave behind. Coming into, this was the power room. Look at this massive generator. So like I said, this place closed in 1984. And one of the more interesting stories that I've read about is when it closed in 84, they donated their well to the town. And uh, it was one of four wells. It was used in a certain area in the town as including the school, which is only about a thousand feet away or so. And two years later, they found out that it was really contaminated so needless to say, they stopped using that well and it was cut off from the town supply, but there were some big concerns throughout the town back in the 80s. Lots of stairs in this place going all different ways. Many, many levels. Not sure where this originally went, but it doesn't go anywhere at this point. much steeper. This is like a ladder, stairs ladder here.
coming up, Kitchy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm very terrified of heights. People see me in videos, they tremble and shake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't it's well known. You can live vicariously through my video. I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's a watch his video of what's upstairs because I'm not going up there. <laughs> I'm surprised how much of this stuff is still here. This is crazy sitting here since 84. And I have no idea what any of it does or did. Everything is totally stuck. Ugh, nothing budges. It's going to be hard to show you through the camera, but this room is massive. Probably longer than a football field. Test your luck with this ceiling here. Clearly at any time you could be bopped on the head with a piece of roofing. That's definitely not something you see every day. I saw the lights way down, on, not on this side, but on the other side. So to explain what happened before, I said this place is huge. I mean, you can be on one area and not even know that there's people on the other. And I noticed way down to the end of one of the sections, one of these giant rooms, there was a couple people walking around way down there. I could see their lights in the shadows. And uh, just like that, you probably didn't hear that, but you can hear every once in a while, somebody kicks something, a bottle or something. You could hear it echo throughout the building. So I don't know who they are. Usually better if you can avoid them just to kind of find a different way or a different place to explore. So that's what we did. Um, we're pretty far from them now, so I don't know. I'm kind of keeping an eye out to see if anybody 
is walking around, but we'll have to see what happens. Kitchy just mentioned uh, McFlurries, and now that's all. Yeah. It's the only thing that's on my mind now. <laughs> Must have been an office. And it has completely caved in. Huh. You can actually just see an outlet on the wall over there with the door. Nothing left. You guys know I love to find calendars. 1997. Well, although this business closed in 1984, I'm guessing parts of it were still used by other businesses years after, just because this is such a huge building that you're not gonna just if you own it, you're not gonna have it sit here abandoned. You're probably gonna try to rent it out. So that may be why that calendar says 97. Maybe we'll get our answers right here. Look at this. Why is there always personal information? Social security numbers and everything. Ugh. Wow. You know, it just goes to show you that, I mean, obviously this was from a long time ago, but we were always so programmed to like, oh, you just put your social security number on here and you fill this out. And it's like, this is where it ends up. You know what I mean? That business closes and this is where it ends up. It's crazy. So much of it. For those of you wondering, this was a textile factory or a textile plant, and it was more of a finishing plant. So what they did was um, they took clothing from other companies and they dyed them or they just finished the clothing and then it was shipped out somewhere else. But that's what they did. And apparently this was a big business. Looks like there was a fire in here. Oh yeah, you can smell it. Definitely. Doesn't look like there was a lot of damage. Weird. Huh. Conveniently, there was a fire extinguisher in this room. My guess is this was the power room for whatever was in this massive building out here. Okay. 
So there's no way to get into this room, but you can look through the wall. It looks like somebody, it, it must've been, obviously it was bricked up at some point and then somebody blasted through it. I'm not gonna crawl through there, but it's interesting to see there's a couch in there and it looks like an old refrigerator here to the left. I don't know how to get in there. Weird. All right, so we've been here for a little while. Pretty much have seen everything. It's shown you everything that uh, is worth showing you. We're gonna try to, we're gonna get out of here and try to beat these thunderstorms that are starting to roll through. I don't know where Kitchy went. Where'd you go, Kitchy? There she is. Thanks to Kitchy Travels for showing me this cool spot. So definitely go over there, go over to her channel, say hi, give her a follow, subscribe, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're going to go and get a McFlurry because we have earned it. It's really hot and this place is hot and dusty. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.